Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor. If you're new around here, I'm a 24 year old graduate student slash incoming dietetic intern at Columbia University, I live in New York City, and I am moving in with my boyfriend this weekend. So I wanted to do a little apartment haul. I've been doing a lot of online shopping. In New York, it is not convenient to go to a store and have to lug everything back. So online shopping is our queen. I am filming on my floor because everything is just a mess. It is mass chaos in here. So I got a lot of um, bath and kitchen stuff mostly. I will just kind of start off with um, Bed Bath & Beyond. I got a couple things from there. They have always had really great, inexpensive, just like sheer curtains. So for our bedroom, there's two windows and I just wanted to do plain sheer white curtains on the side, more for decoration because the apartment does come with the shade that comes down, which is really nice. So these will be mostly for just looking cute and adding to the space. Got black curtain rods from Walmart's website. They're just their mainstays brand, very inexpensive. We're on a budget here. It is expensive to furnish an apartment they're in a box and I don't really feel like unboxing a lot of these things because it's just gonna make my move a lot easier honestly so here's a picture not a necessary purchase but it was on sale I got a panini press people I could not help this one it was on sale for $20 it is the George Foreman panini press non-stick copper infused coating but here's what it looks like not only am I going to be making paninis left and right but you can grill chicken on this I can make smashed potatoes with it I just thought it would be really fun to instead of you know baking chicken or frying it in a fry pan on top of the stove it'd be nice to kind of get that grill effect you know since we do have a month or two left of summer so you know I got tons and tons of stuff from Amazon so first I got a set of just large cutting board and these are large extra thick these were fairly cheap I think it was like 18 bucks for these three so not too bad next was just a plain shower liner just a necessary thing don't think I have to expand we got a sponge holder I actually got this one for our current apartment that I'm living in with my roommates and it's worked well for us this whole year so I just got the same one it's like seven dollars I got these like antique glass soap dispensers. I wanted to do one for hand soap and one for dish soap. I just think it makes the space look a little bit more put together. So I got this on Amazon as well. It comes with two. You can see here that it comes with some pre-printed labels, which is great. They say soap, lotion, hand soap, dish soap. Next, we just got some plain old chrome colored shower curtain rings. Not much to say here. I also got like corner mount shower organizers. I've always had a shower caddy over the shower head and I kind of just wanted to not do that this time and kind of make it look a little bit more organized. So I got these ones that are just chrome colored. All the finishes in the bathroom and the apartment in general are chrome colored. So I'm trying to stick with that and not mix too much of the metal finishes. So these have like suction cup thingies that you just stick in the corner of the wall. It comes with two, they look like that. And so one will be for Kyle, which will probably be the smaller one, let's be honest, because I need more space. And they'll go in the corner like this. You can't tell what this is, but this actually is a laundry bin. I'll show a picture here, also from Amazon. The laundry basket that I have is like short and wide. And I kind of wanted to save space and get one that's standing and narrower because I have a really good sized closet. Kyle and I both have our own closets in this apartment, which is pretty much one of the main reasons I wanted this apartment. I did not want to share a closet. I just have too much stuff and I'm just trying to spare him the frustration of dealing with all my stuff. I wanted to kind of save space. Okay, next up from Amazon, I got this really slim wastebasket. This is for the bathroom. I got this like taupe colored one because I thought it went well with the finishes of the bathroom and the, the color scheme going on. There's a very small two cracks that I can slip this in. We haven't been in the apartment really since we got it. So I'm hoping that this fits. Packaging is a little misleading. It is a silicone cooking utensil set. I just wanted to get a brand new set of cooking utensils that match. Kyle has some and I have some, but they're all mixed match and I kind of just wanted to keep them all one color. And I did get them in a gray color. So let me take one of these out. This is a food turner is what they say online. I always called it a spatula, but that's not what they technically call it online. So they just all look like this. They have this light gray color with the chrome finish on it, which was important to me as well. These are 
kind of necessity, but not as exciting, I apologize. And then last but not least from Amazon, I got just a white down comforter as well as a plain white duvet cover. We're trying to keep it a very minimalistic bedroom, a lot of neutral tones with like a splash of sage green here and there. So sage green is kind of just gonna be the accent color. I chose this as the color because I thought it was just neutral. You know, if it was my own apartment, I would just have splashes of pink everywhere, but I wanted to be courteous to Kyle. Sage green was something that we both agreed would look really nice. So we have an off-white upholstered bed frame that is coming and we wanted to do a plain white comforter which I've never had a plain white comforter in my life and I know that they look so crisp and clean and they look so good in every room that I see them in but I just know myself and I cannot have a white comforter like I just I eat on my bed a lot I spill I'm just like very mindless in that sense knowing that that's why I wanted to get a duvet cover because I could just throw it in the wash a lot easier and bleach it and get out those little stains I'm gonna try not to eat on my bed because I don't want to have to do that and try to get like spaghetti sauce out of my bed so we will have a dining room table though so I feel like I will be less likely to eat in bed than I have been in my other apartments I think we will be avoiding that and hopefully the duvet cover will make it and then I have a few items from Target as well I got just a plain white shower curtain. It actually has, if you can kind of see, it has tassels at the bottom and it kind of has this like striped pattern going on. Our accent color in the bathroom is like a dusty blue type of color. So I got towels and a bath mat in those colors. So these are the towels that I got. They're the Casa Luna, Casa Luna brand on Target's website. And it is the light blue color, but they look a little bit more like dusty blue and not so like light blue to me. So I got two hand towels, one bath sheet, cause Kylo really likes the long bath sheets and then three just normal size towels. I also got the matching light blue Casa Luna bath mat as well. So it could all be the same color blue. I knew it'd be tricky to kind of match the same tones of blue so I wanted to find the same brand of the blue. I also randomly just got a thing at hand so for the bathroom I don't know why I just thought to do this but I also thought the blue matched so and then last but certainly not least is what I'm gonna put all of those silicone cooking utensils in and that is this really cute magnolia brand utensil holder I'm really praying that this is gonna fit on the countertop I don't know it's very narrow but I just thought it was so cute it says utensils and it's this beautiful like stone color and I just thought that all my utensils would look really cute in it let's test it out for fun which utensil is gonna be the lucky one we're just gonna go with the same um, spatula food flipper oh my gosh how precious I love it so with all of the utensils in here, obviously it'll look much, much better than it does right now. But like I said, it is a very narrow space next to the oven. So hoping it will fit in there. If it doesn't, I'll just have to return it and find something else, which would be unfortunate, but that is why we save receipts. And that is everything for this haul, you guys. Like I said, there is not much in-person shopping to be done just because it's not convenient in New York. So I'm sorry I couldn't vlog shopping it. I didn't think you'd want to watch me scrolling through websites. And we have ordered a lot of furniture online too, which I just don't think is worth showing you guys when it's in a box, but you will see it when it's put together. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to keep doing more videos in this little series. We are moving in three days. So we're getting really close. It's very exciting and a little stressful, but very exciting overall. Thank you so much for watching and for your continued support as always. And I'll see you guys in my next video.